So I see a lot of videos online about steroids crash your lipids, HDL gets so low on steroids, LDL increases, but I wanted to delve in because I never really see it online about the actual pathways that cause certain steroids to wreak havoc on your lipids. I never really see explained the exact biochemical pathways behind why steroids are going to crash your good cholesterol, your HDL, and raise your LDL or your bad cholesterol. So in this video, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna delve into why steroids manipulate our lipid mechanics, but we need to start with a quick introduction about HDL and LDL. So basically, LDL and HDL are carrier proteins for cholesterol and other fats in your body. HDL particles enlarge while circulating in the blood, taking on more fat, with HDL transporting cholesterol from the body back to the liver to then be excreted. And just a really interesting point here, I know I speak about the precursors to testosterone synthesis all the time on my channel, but cholesterol is the startup molecule for testosterone synthesis. And really interestingly, HDL actually carries a little bit of cholesterol down to the testes or the lighting cells for cholesterol to be turned into testosterone because that pathway happens in the testicles. And I find that really cool, how a little bit is just siphoned off down to the lighting cells, just enough to produce testosterone in the presence of LH and FSH signaling on the lighting cells themselves. That's really cool to me. And just quickly, you can start to understand why guys on a very low fat diet who have very low cholesterol levels will also have very low testosterone levels because the precursor is literally not there. LDL, meanwhile, delivers fat away from the liver and delivers fat molecules to our cells, but is implicated in plaque accumulation in the arteries of our body. But how do steroids fit in here? Well, hepatic lipase is an enzyme heavily involved in this whole process, and it is responsible for converting the large HDL molecules to smaller HDL molecules. As you can see in this image, hepatic lipase can convert HDL2 to HDL3. Now, HDL3 can be taken up by the liver, and overall, because HDL3 is then removed, you get a reduction in the HDL pool or a decrease on your blood test of total HDL. In addition, hepatic lipase can convert large buoyant LDL molecules to small dense LDL molecules. And the small dense variation of LDL puts you at a much greater risk of atherosclerosis, plaque accumulation, and your risk of heart disease and heart attack. But the key question is, does testosterone and steroid administration change hepatic lipase activity? This study says yes. This study of men who received 600 milligrams of testosterone, testosterone anathate, actually a week for four weeks, a total of almost 2.5 grams of test, which is actually really crazy in, this, in the research that they approved this, but they received over a month, 2.5 grams almost of testosterone had significantly increased HL activity above baseline with big decreases in all HDL subclasses as well as total HDL and increases in LDL. And what was the reason for this? The reason is because testosterone directly manipulates HL mechanics and increases the rate and activity of the enzyme. Around 63% was the increase in this study above baseline by testosterone administration, meaning that HL is sending more HDL back to the liver to be excreted, so the HDL pool goes down, and allowing the smaller, more densely packed LDL molecules to accumulate, which are more of a risk factor for heart disease. So there is the biochemical reason why steroids actually increase your LDL and reduce your HDL, and why certain steroids that are much more powerful than testosterone can really ruin your lipid profile. I've seen guys with blood work with super, super low HDL and incredibly high, like two, three, four X, the reference range LDL, because they're using very strong steroids like Tren, like Boldenone, and these strong anabolic steroids that are really ruining their lipids. And here is the biochemical reason why. Let me know guys, if you're interested in how to fix this issue, because there are supplements and pharmacology that you can take to fix your lipid profile if it is out of whack and you're on cycle. Even on TRT, I've seen guys with slightly reduced HCL and increased LDL levels. And that's even on like 100 milligrams a week of tests. So there you go, guys. There's the reason why it's all to do with hepatic lipase. I've never really seen the biochemical reason why steroids affect lipid activity, but there you go. I hope you enjoy, guys. I'm trying to get as much science out on this channel as I can, and I really 
Thank you for watching this video. Fitness Doc, I will see you in the next video.